Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Testing mic. Yeah? yeah. That sounds good. Alright, let's test... Uh, do this. Maybe this will help. Yeah. Alright, hopefully you guys can hear me if you're here. Uh, give me a second. I can't see the, the game screen. There we go. Setting up. Let me uh, see how that sounds. Um, oh, just hearing the music is so good. Oh, Lord Pickles, you're awesome. Thanks for sending that link to me. Test one, two, test one, two. Yeah. Can you hear the game okay? Hey, what's up, Kitty Money? Hey, hey. How are you? Holy cow, how are you feeling? Two days down, right? One to go? Um, how's life going as uh, being a, an awesome nurse, uh, helping people? I'm sure it's stressful and, and uh, probably feels thankless at times, but we're definitely going to give you thanks here. Thank you for doing what you do. Uh, hopefully you're getting some rest. Or you're at work right now. You're probably at work right now. I'm going to drink some water. Yes, you can see my face. Hmm. Yum a dum dum. Okay. Yeah, I'm just relaxing right now. Okay, cool. Awesome. Uh, we're, we're a little early, so I'm going to wait a few minutes because I'm sure Sid will want to be here and and everything. So uh, we'll wait. You work a uh, night shift tonight. Okay, gotcha. All right, good. Well, relax. Chill out. Chill out. Um, Cool, cool. All right, so good. Hey, what's up, my man? My man. Got to do the Jason Momoa style. Um, I kind of have a, a... So as... <laughs> so good thing I bought cement glue because I'm going to... I bought a new tripod, or I got one for Christmas uh, for my camera with a new light set up on it where it has like one of those circle lights, which will be less intense on me than the, you know, the big butterfly... the bit Not butterfly, but the big light I have. Um... So it's one of those circle lights, and it goes kind of around the camera. Um, so it's it's kind of neat, and I got one of those for Christmas. And the reason I never used it is because um, one of the tripod legs on it was broken. So I bought uh, some cement glue, and I'm going to fix it, uh, just because all I need to do is just glue this one part, and then the tripod, the tripod legs will, will stand in place. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to adjust it too much, but at least I'll get the foundation there. Uh, so, I, yeah, i got to fix that now because my old tripod or the one I've been doing Venom vlog on for like two years now um, or I think I did I think I did this just for the past year I mean these these tripods that I buy they last maybe a year so this one I was trying to set it up to hold my camera for the PS4 and uh, and I was like oh there's no screw on the PS underneath the PS4 camera so I can't screw it onto the mount I go okay so I'll just put a little tape so I kind of like you know taped it uh, down just you know just using scotch tape which was fine but then all of a sudden all the threads on two different knuckles decided to stop working so I couldn't adjust the height so I have like it's sitting on books right now <laughs> and I'm like oh of course like these tripods they, they I mean I got you know I got a good run you know it was like 25 bucks for this tripod and I got like a good year year and a half on it so it's fine it's fine no complaints uh just mentioning it I thought it was funny um 
All right, we're gonna get started here in a second. Let me get a little bit more water. I don't have the AC on. I have the window open though. It rained for four seconds. I'm not shitting you. I went outside with Echo and as we were walking down the steps, because we live on the third floor, so we're walking down and I can hear it, hear it starting. Like, you know, like one drop there, one drop there. And I'm like, oh man, I was like, Echo, we gotta go. Uh, Cause he hates the rain. So, uh, and he looks so funny because I gave him a haircut today. Like I gave myself, I, I groomed myself uh, face and, 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 uh, and everything and shaved and stuff. And then I took him for a walk this morning. I brought him in, gave him a shower and I started to give him a haircut. <laughs> we got from like his, his like where his, if he was standing upright from his chest down, we got mm, mm, some of it, <laughs> some of it. And then the clippers died. The Clippers, uh, I mean, they, I've had to, I, I should have bought a new pair a, a while ago. I bought a pair for me, like just like a little grooming one, but uh, I have like a big clipper for him to just kind of run through his back and stuff and, and cut some of his hair, but his hair is so thick. So uh, after like a couple, you know, haircuts, it, you know, so I took it apart, I cleaned it, hoping that would help and it didn't. So he has like a third of them has been cut hair wise. <laughs> so he's got like, a nice trimmed butt and a trimmed tail and like starting on his legs and then a little bit on his belly and then he's just like hairy so now he looks like like he bulldogs out like he looks bigger in the front now because it's all hair <laughs> oh man uh so yeah that's been my day today I was doing that and then cooking i was doing a lot of cooking i made breakfast and lunch today um so anyway we get outside and big water drops boom Boom, and they start picking up speed and we we're like there's a tree right outside of our house so i was like all right our apartment so i'm like let's go into the tree real quick and then i'll see if he goes to the bathroom there and i'll just bring him back inside we go into the tree and then i and then all of a sudden we stop here in the water and we look around and it's not raining anymore and i'm like you're kidding me like so it's not it's not gonna rain <laughs> so it rained for like like maybe 10 seconds maybe i i say four but I guess from the walk down the stairs to the tree was probably about uh, 10 seconds. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I even walked from the second floor down because I didn't hear it on the third floor. But yeah, we got down to the second floor, we're coming down the steps and I could hear the water and see it starting to drop. So yeah, from there to the tree was about 10 seconds and that was it, that was the rain. Uh, so yeah, Florida, man. Um, all right, so I think we're good. Audio's good, it's 103. Florida man, right? All right. Hello everyone, welcome to the uh, Symbiote stream. And we are here today with Final Fantasy VII Remake purely because one of our friends, Sid, um, was kind enough to donate this to us, and uh, which was really awesome of Sid to do. And I love the, the fact that there's a Sid in every Final Fantasy spelled C-I-D. But Sid, S-I-D, is the one who donated this. So big shout out to Sid. Thank you so much. We're only here today playing this because of you. We were playing Control, which is not a game I am going to upload to my YouTube channel because uh, the game started off awesome and then I got really frustrated with it by the end and then I pretty much just hated the ending. Um, and so I was like, yeah, I don't I don't want to play this. Like, I, like, there's DLC coming out for it. I, have, I own the DLC. Like, I pre-bought it. So maybe we'll get into it, but I'm going to wait till the second DLC comes out because I heard that ties into Alan Wake a little bit, and maybe that'll get us to play it then. But I did not really enjoy my time in the last, like, four hours of that game. Um, I will say it's worth your money if you buy it at full price because it took us, like, 15 hours or so to beat it on our first playthrough. And that's with doing all but two side missions, but then once you beat it, it allows you to go back in and do those side missions. Uh, so... So then we went back and did that. So that took like another two hours to do this, like an hour each side mission. Um, so that was worth, you know, it's worth your money, I would say, if you're going to play Control. And it, it's a neat concept. It's a neat premise. But gameplay wise, it gets really frustrating and challenging. And for people out there who like that, that's great. Me, I was a little frustrated that I didn't get to choose my setting. After I died so many times, I was kind of hoping the game would make go easier on me and I could just, you know, 
get through the story because I was like locked into the story, but because the game got so frustrating, it pulled me out of the story by the end of the game. And then it crashed on us right at the final boss. We went in and it crashed on us right when we got to the final boss. Uh, and it shut down my stream and it turned the game off and it reset the whole game. And at that point, after we battled through everything to get to the final boss, right when we reached out to touch them, it crashed. So I was like, okay. I'm like, we're done. <laughs> like, I don't want to, I don't want to play this. Um, so, uh, so thank goodness though that we did beat it. I beat it last night off stream. And because I didn't record the ending, I'm not going to upload it to YouTube. Uh, but maybe we'll play it again at some point, you know, down the road. Uh, sorry I'm late. Sid says, that's okay. I was putting laundry away. We were waiting for you anyway, so it's all good. You don't have to be late. I mean, you don't have to be sorry that you're late. It's okay. I, I don't mind waiting. Um, but now that I told my, <laughs> my control story, uh, here we are. Sid is in the house. Sid is the person who donated this game to us. Uh, thank you, Sid, for Final Fantasy VII Remake. And uh, without further ado, uh, now that Sid's here to watch, let's dive right in. And we are going to play on easy mode, uh, just because, if it gives us an option. Um, let's just do default. I'm not a big fan of inverted. There's classic as recommended if you want to focus on using commands in battle. Easy, select if you just want to enjoy the story, which is, that's what I want to do. When I play video games on stream, I just want to enjoy the story. I'm not here to get frustrated. I'm not here to get mad. Uh, for those who kn don't know, I have a, you know, I can't get mad with my, my, I guess my ailments. Like, I, you know, the, the angrier I get, you know, I, I get locked in that phase and it's, uh, it's frustrating and it hurts. Um, so I, I don't like to do it. I don't like to get frustrated. And especially playing video games, they should be fun. So... That's what we're doing. Easy mode right here. Welcome, everybody. Get some more coffee. Go ahead. Do your thing. Hi, everyone, Sid says. Ooh. This is nice. It's like the opening of the Crow 2, <laughs> Crow City of Angels. Ah, I guess the first one kind of had this opening, too. I had a crow flying around. Um, I love Final Fantasy. I love those games. Uh, I will say I haven't played all of them, though played a lot of the original ones that were released in the U.S. on the Nintendo. Um, and then I think Super Nintendo was maybe the th Final Fantasy 3. Final Fantasy 7 came out when I moved to from Jacksonville, Florida to uh, to South Carolina. And if I'm not mistaken, I started the game in Florida. I was playing it. But I, I got to the third disc. almost. A, yeah, I got just started the third disc, which was like near the end of the game. And uh, I moved to South Carolina. I got invited to a party. I met some friends that were all nerds like me. And they said, hey, we're going to have a party. It's our friend Chris's birthday. I went over to his house, and they were playing Final Fantasy VII. And right when I walked in, they, they were beating the game. So the game got spoiled for me. <laughs> so I didn't play it again until years later. Um, and I also played Crisis Core, which is the, the prequel to this game. It was on the PSP. I really wish... Uh, they would re-release that game. Uh, and may, I don't even know if they want to touch it up in high def or remaster it. That's fine, like they did Final Fantasy VIII. But Crisis Core was an awesome game, and it tells the origin of uh, Zack, who is the... I don't know if he'll be mentioned in this one, because it's a remake, so I don't know what they're going to do differently in this. Um, never played Final Fantasy. Really? Any of them? Final Fantasy Tactics is my favorite one. I'm playing that on my phone right now, and I've uploaded a couple of those on my YouTube channel. If you want to check it out, I think I put the first four episodes up there. I haven't put any more up yet, but um, but I love Final Fantasy Tactics. Oh my goodness, such such a good game. And in Final Fantasy Tactics, you can actually um, summon Cloud. You can pull him from the live stream, and uh, also he gets to meet an alternate universe Aerith at the same time. So this is Aerith, the Flower Girl. This is Midgar, and I don't know for sure. I think. What I saw people talking about was that... They, so Final Fantasy VII, when it came out, it was three discs. But it still took, like, I don't know, 40, hour, 40 hours to beat, roughly. 30 to 40 hours. I heard this takes that. This takes 30 to 40 hours, but it's only a third of the story. Um, but this only is, like, the first disc of the game. The, the original game. And I saw a lot of people mad about that, but I'm like, well, if you're still playing for 30 to 40 hours, then you're still getting a full game technically. So I guess it depends on what type of ending. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be a cliffhanger ending, but look how beautiful this looks. Like, no way could you do this times three on... on it would be a three-disc game again still. And these shots are great. They're like exactly mirroring the original game. 
I haven't, e I haven't either. No, Sid or Kitty Money never played Final Fantasy. I only ever saw the one with the single, which seems to be the least liked. Um, saw the one with the singing. Oh, the singing. Which one was that one? Is it the... Which one has the singing in it? This one, at least the original, had a full-on cross-dressing dance number in it. <laughs> so, so uh, I don't know. That that's that may still be here too. I think it is. I think we saw a trailer with with. Uh, the, I won't spoil it. Oh, we'll get we'll get there. Yeah, but I think there's like a drag show in this one. Three girls were the main characters. Oh, that was probably like Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy Twelve. Two or something, maybe? I can't, I can't remember. The first game I ever played with more than one disc was Castlevania. Ooh, nice. That's a great one. Which Castlevania had more than one disc? Was it uh, Symphony of the Night? Oh, snap. Here's our, uh, f uh, our Star Wars reference characters, I think. Diggs and... Uh, I'm blanking on their names now. Get down here, Merc. Oh snap. Here he is. Nice entrance. Oh man, Cloud. So this is what I played at E3, the demo. Um and and what we played recently too on our channel. On our main channel. Who goes there? You're up. I somehow got lost in Castlevania. Oh and yeah. Uh, Lords of Shadow. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah, yeah, that's a great one. All right, punish mode attack. Okay. You're coming with us. Nice and easy. Don't think so. Nice. Cloud is now level seven. I'm pretty sure we're gonna we're playing in easy mode, so I'm sure this the battles aren't gonna be that tough. But that's okay. I just want to experience the story. I love this game. Uh, I liked 8 more, I'll be honest. I, I liked Final Fantasy VIII story more than 7. But 7 has just some great characters in it. Just, and great moments. Freeze! Move and we shoot! Go ahead. It's over. <laughs> it's over. Enough of this. You like this? <laughs> Let's go. This is awesome. You got lost in... Echo? You okay? Hey, hang on one second. You alright? What's going on, buddy? You okay? What happened? You're biting. gonna be okay sorry guys um, echo was like I don't know I think he was like scratching he got a back today so I'm sure he's just a little itchy you want to come out here come here come here come up on the couch up up there you go buddy all right there you go oh here you dropped your bone there you go go ahead and, and chill out with us all right uh, I'm gonna go potty and make a pulse here. Go ahead, do your thing. Yeah, I guess he was, uh, so he was, like, itching, and he, I think he just itched a little too hard, because I heard him yelp. I was making sure, like, a bug or something didn't get in the window and sting him or bite him, because I had the bedroom window open. All right, here we go. Are those guys just waiting under the stairs over there? <laughs> You got this. Yeah. Biggs Wedge. There it is. Biggs and Wedge. Those are Star Wars characters. Uh, reference names. Um, pressing R1 to guard and circle to evade. With us. Can't get surrounded. Try harder. You're dead. Nope. Get ready. That's not I see you. Enough. Nice. Let's 
place amazing. They did a good job. Really good job on this game. Hey, Echo, Sid says. Uh, use to open chests or doors and talk to people. Okay. You obtain two potions. You obtain two grenades. Hey! I'm a fan of that. You find boxes with Shinra logo, smash them. Okay. So what soldier boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's yeah. a professional, unlike the rest of us. So it's like... I'm glad to have him. Uh, <laughs> so the group of, this like, I guess, gig. soldiers that uh, done, Cloud worked done. for was called uh, Soldier. Um, uh, we're going to hear... I don't know what they changed for the remake, so I don't want to say too much about the original uh, version of Cloud in case they... Um, because I imagine they're going to stick to those Looks those origins. Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think. Not interested. What? <laughs> Cloud's kind of a d bag. <laughs> <laughs> Typical loner. Which? Uh, <sighs> dude, you he's better a, be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. I remember when uh, what was it? Wizard Magazine used to do like, like casting, like who they would like to see play characters based on video games and comic books, and I. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think they picked because this was like, you know, late '90s when they did the fan casting, um, and I think they picked Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> to play Cloud, which I, I don't know at the time. I guess could have been cool. I don't know if Leo would have done it, but uh, get him, boy. Guess you first. Um, no holding back. <laughs> Looks like you're next. Yeah, you are. Nice. Not bad. Um. So yeah, they picked uh, they picked him like Leo, and then I think Ving Rhames was uh was for Barrett, um, because he was you know, I think he had just done uh, what was that movie uh, Armageddon or something. can't picture Leo with that hairstyle. Well, that's the thing is I'm sure they wouldn't have given him that hairstyle. They they I, I feel like I feel like if they would have made this movie in the 90s they they probably wouldn't have done that. I, that feels like a more of an early 2000s thing when they did like the Dragon Ball movie like early to mid 2000s and they try to give them spiky hair in that movie. And that was also a mistake. The whole movie was a mistake, but that one was a that was a big mistake. Uh, doing the hair. Because just like, hey man, some things just don't translate. Cloud looks great as an animated character in a video game. He's He looks amazing. But trying to do him in real life, it just, I mean, it looks like a cosplayer, which is fine. Uh, cos cosplayers do an amazing job at it. But uh, it's just not a hairstyle that you, you could do spiky hair, but it just, but doing it exact the way it is, is, I think is a mistake. I don't know, if I was, if I was casting the movie or and we were filming it, I don't know if I would, I'd be like, eh. I was like, his hair doesn't need to look like that, it's fine. Huh. Not so fast. We've got company. Uh-oh. Great. 
Get those dogs, man. Think you can stop me? Steady. Dynamite. Hey, what's up, Gnome School? How's it going? That guy could have won a cosplay contest for sure, but I agree. Um, yeah, there, there's there been some great uh, cosplayers of Cloud and stuff that look ama amazing as far as like that goes, but when I judge like cosplay stuff compared to like what I would want to see in a movie, I do have a different barometer of like what I think would look good. So yeah, if I was casting Cloud in a movie, I would be like, oh, let's give him short spiky hair, but I wouldn't do like this like he wouldn't have the bangs and the coat you know it's like his, his hair goes in like three different directions it's just kind of you would have to get a wig and and no matter what it's gonna look i don't know i'm sure the best wig maker in the world could do it but would you be able to get them would you be able to hire them <laughs> would they be not already booked on some kind of movie that would win like a, a drama awards and stuff so Oh, the music's so good. Can we talk to you? No? Alright. Trying to get some extra dialogue in there. Look at that. Right inside the Mako reactor. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. Back, welcome so how back, do Kitty. We get to the bridge above Mako's storage. <sighs> Ain't holding out on me, are you? I really like oat milk. Oh, okay. Stamp yeah. scared to bite the hand that fed him, or is he a loyal little doggy? <sighs> Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. Hmm. Yeah, so Barrett, uh, you know, Barry isn't, isn't a fan of uh, the, the system, I soon. guess. You know, like, uh... In three, two... Damn, I'm good. Barrett, uh, you know, he's definitely a revolutionist, and he doesn't like, uh... The Shinra Corporation and what they represent, and that's kind of where Cloud comes from, you know, being a former soldier. Soldiers worked for, um, you know, the company, for Shinra. And so uh, now Cloud is a mercenary because he doesn't really have his memories, he doesn't know who or what he is, and they get into that um, throughout the game, I'm sure. Uh, for whatever reason, in games like these intimidated me when I was younger. Um, you know why? I think it's just because of the amount of work that went into it. Like, playing this game um, wasn't just like, it's like, it's a number of different things. Because you had to like, customize stuff, you uh, you learned abilities, like there was, there was some strategy to it. Uh, so I, I get it, like I, I feel like you still could have played it, and I think you would have done great at it. Uh, but I understand the intimidation because I get it sometimes too. Even still, like I'm like like Red Dead Redemption Two. I'm like, oh man, I remember how fun it was to play the first one. But man, that was a lot of work, and it was a, a lot. It was a lot that went into that, and uh, I'm just kind of like, ah, oh, yeah. I, I don't know if I'm feel a little intimidated too playing the second one. Security is only going to get um, so be ready. Same with like God of War. Like we were gifted that game, and that one I'm like, oh, and like uh, Monster Hunter. I get like that with Monster Hunter too. Where it's like it just feels too big. Like I'm like, oh, this is a big game. I'm, I'm never gonna beat it. So you know Tifa, and right? sometimes it's, it's fine. Really like like business, sometimes it should, you should just have the fun close. playing it. 
Um, but I, I don't sometimes. <laughs> like sometimes I think about like, no, but I want to beat it. I want the story. I, that's what I play games for. And so uh, I, I pull away naturally. Whoa, I don't think this was in the demo. Nice, wigs. Oh yeah, I wonder uh, Wonder Woman and that katana, the next, but never wore a wig for either. I think it's mostly why anime uh, is really cool. Oh yeah, anime is, anime is awesome. And, they, and they, their looks of characters are fantastic. And I, I, I know why people are drawn to that look. Um, but like an, an average movie going audience, I don't, I don't know. It'd be, it'd be a, neat, a neat experiment. It would be an expensive experiment <laughs> to do the movie. Because, look, everybody else has regular hair. So that's, that's what would drive me nuts if I was casting this movie and we were filming it. Is like, okay, Wedge and Biggs and Barrett, and uh, they all have, like, you know, pretty typical hairstyles. So Cloud's the only one that stands out. So I'd kind of... These sewer rats appear to I kind of, I don't know, I guess that's... Sir. That's what makes the character stand out, but that works for a we video game. So you're like, oh, that's who I am. I'm the I'm the spiky hair guy. That made the attempt on your life. Um, but see all these other guys; they have regular Rest hairstyles. Our inquiries um, will not take Regular much facial hairstyles, like nothing too extreme. This pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet So just for consistency's sake, I feel like Cloud. I would be like, we're gonna tone the hair down a little. And it doesn't care. I would try it and you and see what it looks like because like, you got the money is, you? when you're making a movie, so it's like yeah, try it, do a test of reading of this scene the with all these actors green, and like see how much red. Cloud stands out. And if it's if it's too gone, huh? if it takes attention Answer away from me. the scene too much, you're gonna want to cut it. You it doesn't look good. God of War is so good though; it's past my difficulty level, but I'm over. It is it it is a fun game. Damn straight, I do. Get help. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again. <sighs> I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. Hmm. He, he just told you to sit your ass down, Barrett. I love how animated Barrett is. I, I think I, when I was playing the demo and I came out of it, some kid was like talking about it like in a negative. He was like, well, what's with that the big guy? Like, why was he acting all... And it's like, well, that's how he was in the original game, if you remember. Well, so much for having He's always doing this, fighting. like waving his hair, hands There's around. Some places a sword just I can never reach. get into live-action anime movies. Just something about the animation makes it special to me. See, that's the thing is... I think you, hardcore anime you? fans just want to see theatrical <laughs> anime releases because they're that's what draws Should them in is that is that you can do a lot in animation that you, that, that your brain suspends for disbelief because when you see a live action movie and you see certain people do things it's gonna no matter how good the cgi looks it still doesn't look the same like it doesn't look right and you can people say oh you with the amount of effects nowadays you can do anything like you could do anything you could do in a cartoon it's like that's not true because your brain does, it still doesn't separate it the way it does with a cartoon. Gonna throw your sword at him? Let the man with the gun go to work. These ten cans ain't got nothing on me. Ooh. Yeah. Want some more? Fuck on me. Okay. Now for the real show. Boom. Got him. Is there another one? Oh yeah, it's over here. Still. Oh. I like how easy it is to switch characters. Whoa. Dude, I just Kingdom Hearts that. Let's go. Jumped up in the air. Uh, truth, haven't encountered a decent, good anime live action. Nah, it's like video game live action. It's really hard to to do to translate. Yet Hollywood will still they'll keep doing it as long as they think they can make money off it. But I feel like they fail more than they succeed. Look what we have here. 
agreed uh, still is limited compared to what we, that can be drawn. That's exactly it. And the, when things are drawn outlandishly or over the top or crazy, your brain forgives it because it's animation. Like, look at Spider-Verse. Like, if you took that same exact story and made it live action, I don't know. Like, I think it's a great story, but I think it, because the animation kicked that story up to the next level as far as animation styles go, I've never seen a movie like that, a uh, cartoon or, or theatrical release. I've never seen anything like that. Oh, probably dash. Is there a dash button? I don't think so. Ooh. How fast is this one? You're doing good, soldier. We did it. Spider Verse is a great example. Ah, uh, yeah, it's right. It's like when you watch that movie, you're just like, "This is the, f the best Spider-Man movie ever." Uh, but it's certainly just the, the animation is is just top notch. So it goes one, two, three, one, two, three. Oh, I heard Barrett get did he get caught. that had been live action it would have flopped uh yeah it, it would have i mean it, you know what's sad thing is it's it didn't flop but it still did not make a ton of money but it won awards which gave it a second life and then it gave it a bigger life when they put on netflix and the downloads it got so like it, that movie bounced back but theatrically it didn't do that great Um, but uh, it would have probably done worse if it was live action, which is sucks to say, because um, you know I'm sure everybody would have still put their heart and soul into it. But the way that was animated was amazing. Hey! It's not moving! Let's pin it down. Give it all you've got. Bring it home! Let's do this. Yeah, I'll do it. We're coming at you hard to bash. Of course. It just had to get back up. So we knock it down again. Don't... Boom. And the complaint. Good night. I believe a sequel is a oh, sequel is in the works. They officially announced it. It's coming out like 2022, so it's still a couple years away. But yeah. Soldier first class doesn't go into the 20s. What the hell are you talking about? I mean your age, not your goddamn rank. <laughs> There have been rumors about cloning, I think, and that's what Barrett, I think, is referring to, is that, hey, for all I know, you could be some kind of clone. They didn't exactly clone the way we think of cloning. It's not a, it's not like, oh, here's an exact replica of somebody, but they might clone certain cells in their bodies and, and imprint those or inject those into other um, soldiers that might be deemed worthy to possibly handle the... the you know, the injection. I'm torn between wanting a sequel and hoping they leave it as long as they put in the work and are, it should be great. Yeah, I mean, I, I just want, if they, I mean, they're doing a sequel, so that's going to happen. But they, uh, as long as they keep that animation style and they just tell a fun story, like, I'm really curious where they're going to go from here. Because I imagine, like, the concept of Spider-Verse, it's like, the, you know, yeah, it'd be cool to see It'd be cool to see other Spider-Men from other Spider-Verses, but, uh, you know, 
so like Spider-Man 2099, it's like, well, is he is he from another universe or is he from the future? And I guess what they would explain in the movie is that he's both. He's from a future of an alternate timeline. Not that way. Oh. Down the ladder, dummy. I know, but I was just I wanted to go look. <laughs> Call me dummy. We're supposed to be friends. Not worth my time. Too bad. It's a job. Come on. I feel the same way I never read the Marcus version of Spider-Man because I didn't know how to feel about it. But I think I might... The Marcus version? I don't know if I know what that is. Oh! No time to celebrate. Oh man, you guys... Oops. Huh, man, how come no one told me they could hear my ceiling fan? Oh, that's not good. I, I, I didn't want that on during the playthrough. Did that sound bad? Um, I'm sure it sounds better now, but... Yeah, last time everyone was like, dude, what's with that noise? It sounds awful. Um, I didn't know I had it on. I'm so sorry. Didn't know that the ceiling, that was the ceiling fan? Oh, uh, I didn't even notice it to be honest. Oh no, okay, hopefully, maybe it didn't sound as bad, but yeah, I had the last stream I did, we played Resident Evil 3 and everyone was like, what is that noise, it's irritating. And I'm like, oh crap. And they're like, yeah, I can hear it as loudly as I can hear you, so hopefully it's not as, as bad this time. Um, sorry about that, yeah. Let's see if Little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Go on. You didn't notice honest. it that much? Oh, okay. Good. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. Maybe, uh... That you're one of us. Maybe me Never turning my mic down made I'm it less prominent. I turned my mic down on my headset. Then do the damn job! I never read any Spider-Man. For whatever reason, I'm not interested in superheroes and comic books. Um, oh, that is interesting. But you're not alone there. I mean, it's, most of the world doesn't read comic books. <laughs> They'll go see the movies, um, but they, they, yeah, they don't really read the comic books. I'm fine. What about the timer? You um, go, Merc. Yeah, I mean, I, I get it. Uh, Sid is like, yeah, I kind of feel bad Pretty about that. Well. Um, ooh, there's a nice breeze coming in from outside. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I get it. I, I don't feel bad about it, though. I mean, if you're not interested, you're not interested. I am a firm believer that there's a comic book out there for everybody, but I would say that most comics aren't for everybody, I feel. Uh, especially nowadays. Most comics aren't even for people who read comics. It's got reinforced armor plating, but the internals can be overloaded. Lightning magic. No other option, huh? This is my turn. Shit. Uh, should I be worried? Why can't I? Thunder. Thunder. The th thunder. Hell yeah! You see the damage that did? Keep it up. Mm. Nice. I love this battle. I found Sandman, which helped. Miss Marvel has been the exception so far. Yeah, that's the thing. Sometimes you find a character and you're just that's your character. A barrier? Never seen this defense system before. 
thought you were the expert. So what's your brilliant plan, genius? <laughs> it's my time to shine. <laughs> or go down in flames. Got it. Got it. Do something about that barrier first. If we don't change it up soon, this thing's gonna kill us both. Less talking, more shooting. How about less miss from you? Damn it! This thing is tough! It wouldn't be much of a weapon if it went down easy. Don't compliment the giant scorpion! <laughs> There we go. From the rear. Hi, soldier boy. Show me what you got. That's all. Bring it home. My turn. There we go. It's on you. Snap, there we go. Yeah, it depends on what kind of na uh, narrative you enjoy. Yeah, exactly. I think uh, I think everyone finds their their one comic, but that's the thing is like comic book industry is not gonna they don't I don't think they understand that Watch to an extent the too. They just they want everybody to buy every comic. So Even though in, in interviews and stuff, they'll say, Oh, no, we don't want free. that. You know, like, oh just buy what you like. And it's like, yeah, but uh, but you need us to do more than just that. Um, should I cure? Nah, I think we're good. Staggered. Here we go. Going into the kill. Follow my lead. Been saving something special for your ugly ass. You ready? Nice. He's almost down. How's our 20 minute marker going? The, yeah, the volumes, getting the volume bird, yeah. Buying on the trade. It's definitely good. Helps you get the full story. What's it doing now? An auto repair unit. Damn it. We gotta take it out quickly. Uh -huh. Oh, I am way ahead of you, Merc. Spells fire. Gotta time our attacks just right. Hold out until you spot an opening. It's not gonna go there down go. easy. Focus. You. No, we got it, dude. <laughs> Spoke too soon, Cloud. Alright. How much of that 20 minutes we got left, though? Oh, jeez. Dang, we didn't even need to set off a bomb in here. <laughs> this thing's gonna destroy everything by itself. Oh, it started now? Oh, what the heck? He enjoyed the fandom, nice. <laughs> you hear that? Damn thing showed you how it's done. Hmm. Come on, we've got to move. Yeah, it's always good when you, you're part of a good fan community. Um, most of the Venom fan community is, is really awesome, but there's like this growing, annoying part of it right now where it's like a bunch of kids, like under 18 kids, who are kind of coming in and being like, where's our trailer, where's our trailer? And they're like tagging Sony and stuff. And, yeah, yeah, they're young, so it's like you can't really be mad at them too much, but it is annoying. 
Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, but that's not if, that, if that's the worst of your fandom, you're doing pretty good. <laughs> so, so the Venom fandom has been pretty fun. I also like the Scarlet Spider fandom. There's a there's a nice uh, following for that character as well. Oh. Not bad. You can listen to fans talk about theories for hours, especially the ones that are awesome enough to answer questions. Yeah, that's good too. I um, it's funny. Th theory stuff isn't really like I like watching theory stuff, but I don't always make it. Um, but it's funny because that actually does help. You know, you grow the community. Um. Going the right way? Yeah, okay. You okay? Do I look okay? Help a girl out, would you? Who is Scarlet Spider? How dare you sit? No, I'm kidding. Uh, hero. Scarlet Spider hey, is um, the clone of Spider-Man. Look after Jesse! Um, and uh, for a while was Come the real Spider-Man. They, they thought the clone this was the real one for a while. Probably. Um... So, uh, yeah, he's an important dude, but he's awesome. He's a, he's a fan favorite as well. He's a he's a Peter Parker with blonde hair, um, and like I said, he's a clone of uh, of the actual Peter Parker. I get that with kids you talk about Star Wars prequels. I'm like, how dare you, kid? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're running out of time. Shut up and climb. Yeah. Sorry, it just it keeps me focused. I'll freak out if I don't talk. Out of your way. Oh, there's Barrett over there. That's cool. Great shot. Time to fight, yo. There it! I've got you come. Find us a way out of here. But then Don't worry, I'll be fine. I've got soldier boy with me. X, soldier boy. They're here! X, soldier boy. We don't have time for this shit! The clock's ticking! Cool it. Five seconds is all we need. Just get myself a potion. I'm like half life. Man, I'm, the music's great. Classic. Oh shoot. Good to know. <laughs> I like they're doing really great with the trash talking between the two of them. Uh, hey man, you see my fighting? Must have missed it. Or what if they see me in action? I like that they're just swearing too. Nice. We got a lot of potions already, man. Like, a lot. That's why I don't mind using them. But that's good. I mean, that's what easy mode's all about, I guess, is uh, giving us that advantage. Well. 
That was nothing. Go, go, go. Not going right. down without a fight. Less dying to interrupt the story in easy mode. Exactly. Yeah, that's the thing is I'm that's what I'm here for. I want the story. So that's our focus. I think this is where the demo ended. Yeah, look at that. Twenty minutes was plenty of time to get up there. On easy mode. <laughs> Because I think when we played the demo, we chose 30 minutes, and we got there, and like, I was like, wow, we have, we have 20 minutes left by the time we got there. Whoa. So what, the, the grenade, or the bomb they planted didn't do enough? So what, they turned all the rope oh Right. Come on, come on, come on, come so on. I think they just wanted to destroy that one reactor. They didn't want to cause like massive damage. But I guess the, the higher ups are like, oh, well if we blow the whole building, those guys won't get out alive. And we can say it was it was their own doing, that they were like suicide bombers. Maybe that was the rationale there. Oh, the camera doing this is not good for my stomach or my eyes. Jeez. Hello, see, did you see the deleted Andy Circus Instagram post? Do you think it's real? Because it looked legit. I couldn't. I didn't. I've been here, so I don't know when he posted it. Well, what, what was the image? Unicycle. What's up, by the way? Welcome. What did he post? I, um, I looked just now. I, I know you said it was deleted, but I was seeing if maybe someone sent it to me. Um, oh, there it is. We are Venom. There is going to be carnage tomorrow. Huh. I don't know. That doesn't look like... Well, there must be a... That's an Instagram, but from like a different country. Um, like, I followed the instructions to the letter. Maybe yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't know. The city's still in one piece. But the planet's what matters, right? <laughs> I mean, this must have helped some. After all that, it had better have. Anyway, let's get going. We in Sector 8? That'd be just down there. All right, then. Lead the way. You got it. <laughs> Sometimes I'll get emailed something. Um, I don't see an email right now regarding that, so... Uh, or do I? No, I don't. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm so sorry. Uh, so Andy Circus posted a picture, like a, on a, a, a dry erase board. He drew a picture of uh, Venom, and it said, We are Venom, but there will be carnage tomorrow, is what he posted. Um... Hey, how's that guy doing today? Just chilling? He was. He was sitting right next to me for a while, chewing on his bone, and then 
He, uh, when I got to turn off the fan, he, he ran into the bedroom and he's taking a nap right now. Uh, but yeah, he's doing good. I, sh I, I was joking earlier, or not joking, but telling the story earlier. I gave him a haircut, well, a third of a haircut, because the dang clippers died. Uh, so I should have bought a new pair of clippers be before, um, or when I was at Walmart yesterday, and I totally forgot. Um, so yeah, so his butt and back are shaved, and his tail has been groomed, and uh, and some of his legs on on the back legs, but like from the front up. So he, it's like his ha so the hair gets fuller as it goes from his butt to his head. So he looks like a bulldog, like he's all like front heavy looking now. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny looking. I'm doing good, man. Thanks for letting me know about the circus thing. Um, it's possible. Uh, like I said, sometimes I'll get an email, you know, uh, from someone who might might be like, hey. Uh, so you know what? I'll. It's tomorrow, so I'll. It's fine. I'll, I'll prepare. I'll, like you know, I. I don't know. It's an Instagram post, and it was deleted. I feel like why would he delete it though? Um, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Like, I feel like he would leave it up. Um, because I know that's Tom's thing, where Tom will post something and delete it. But Andy posting and deleting it seems a little weird to me. Um, it's possible, but it just seems weird to me. So what I do know is a lot of Sony people, PR people, marketing people, they've kind of been let go right now. So it's hard to put out trailers or even like put hype out for trailers so that's why i'm saying to me i feel like if andy posted this he would just leave the post up because i don't think anyone would really be saying like hey you can't tell people trailers coming tomorrow like that that doesn't make any sense um isn't there a way you can check what someone posted like what their instagram I know it works for YouTube, but you can post like what their account looked like an hour ago. Like, oh, this is what was on their account an hour ago, and it shows you their posts. Um, I think you can do something like that. So maybe someone can confirm that, but I, I, I don't know. It seems weird you would delete it. Could be fake, but I'm still gonna prepare. I mean, I'll, I'll prepare for a, a trailer reaction, as but that's really not a lot of preparation to, to really do. But here's the thing is what I'm, I'm thinking is that these people are getting so desperate now. What's done is done. And there was those people that were taking time to Photoshop stuff. So I don't doubt in my mind someone would, could easily go get a dry erase board, put that on there, and then just copy and paste Andy Circus's name over it and, and say it was from their Instagram from like Germany because that looks like a different setup for an Instagram account. Uh, Andy Circus is the director of Venom 2. Yeah, he's the director. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever um, won without sacrifice. Though you may not be crying, yeah, I know, right, Sid? I you in pain, just like the planet. But it's okay, cause I'm here for you to help <laughs> take the load off your shoulders. It's inspirational speech time. Your fears, your worries, your concerns, and yes, your feelings. Whatever your problem. I got you. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to know that he's good with CGI and special effects. Move, I think huh? that's that'll add a really nice that's look to Venom enough. too. That's for sure. We get our asses home. All right, mission complete. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it's the only weird thing to me is why did Andy delete it? Um, that seems a little weird to me. I know that's Tom's move, but it seems weird that Andy would do it, especially if it's to announce a trailer. That's because that's the thing is, if Tom was posting that, he would leave it up. He'd be like, "Hey, there's a trailer coming tomorrow," and he would leave it up. He actually probably wouldn't delete it um, because that's just information he would want people to see throughout the day. Hey, I'd like my money now. You can have it. What's up, Mr. Comics? How's it going? Sick. Mr. Comics in the house. Reach section, or sector eight section. Wow, this game looks great. It really does. And it plays great, too. Hugo. Oh, wow. I don't need to tell you what this is, right? You might. Is it materia? It's healing materia. I'm always there for anything Andy does. He hasn't done me wrong yet. Oh, then you're, I, hopefully you'll love Venom too. then. 
Missy buddy, want to write a page for an anthology I'm working on? Uh, sure. What kind of anthology is it? Survival can be a matter of luck. Um, wow, what a nice offer. Hey, thank you, Mr. Comics. Miss you too, man. Um, yeah, uh, can you get in touch with me on Instagram? You want to DM me over there or Twitter? At Venom Vlog, V L O G, Venom Vlog, together. Um, yeah, man, been a while. Uh, I sure. Hold on, let me check out this tutorial quick. You can now set up material to your weapons and armor. Press square, uh, so triangle, set the materia. Healing materia. Because we already have fire on there. Cool. All right, so now we're like Barrett. Barrett was able to do, uh, he was able to do thunder and cure. So now we can do that. Cool. Um, how's the game so far? I'm liking the game. It's, we just played the demo, so now we're, we just got past the demo. It's about helping people, that's the theme. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, DM me, DM me, and let me think, let me try to think of a story I could tell. Uh, helping people, huh? That's nice, actually. Just one page? Like, um, yeah, it's, it's shoot me the details, and I'll, uh, I'll see what I can come up with for you. I'll try to get something to you ASAP. Uh, Sid's awesome for getting you the money. I know, Sid, thank you for this. So what happened here is, uh, so we planted a bomb to blow up that one section of the reactor, just so that they couldn't use it anymore to siphon uh, energy from the planet. That's basically what they're doing. Uh, so all this stuff that, that uh, Mako is what they're siphoning from Gaia, the planet. Um, and they're using that to power you know, things and using it to you know power their weapons and everything like that. So we're revolutionists. Cloud is a mercenary for hire, an ex-soldier who's being hired into this. Uh, so he doesn't really believe in the cause. But what happened is they blew up the reactor. The explosion just did the small amount of damage it was supposed to. But the guys who were in charge of it were like, you know what? Maybe we can use this explosion to our advantage. Let's just destroy the whole reactor. It'll destroy the neighbor nearby, neighborhood nearby, and we can blame it on these terrorists. Uh, we can call them terrorists. And, we, and so, look, you can see all these lives that are ruined now, and people that are barely alive. And now, you know, this this uprising is going to be uh, listed as the cause. Um, so they're going to blame Barrett's group, essentially. Uh, Top Cow, Archie have all... Oh, interesting. Um, have you seen the Harley Quinn show before? I have. I'm not a big fan of it. There's a couple good moments in some of the episodes I saw, but I'm not actually a big fan of, of that type of humor. Um, yeah, just... I'm, I'm kind of older, so... People screaming, like, dildos and stuff, it's, it, that's not as funny to me anymore. Um... You're very welcome. It was no trouble. Wanted to contribute instead of hanging, uh, instead of only hanging out. Well, that's a, you guys don't ever owe me anything. You can hang out, and if I have money, I'll buy games, and you can hang out with me while I play them. Don't ever feel obligated to do anything like that. But the but that was very nice of you. It really was. Um, and uh, and now I have a game to play for you know the, the next two weeks because we're gonna play like 20 hours this week. And then probably 20 hours next week is, is my plan. Um, sweet dreams, Kitty. Yeah, Kitty, get some sleep. Everybody send Kitty some love. For those who don't know or if you're new here, she's a nurse, so she's on the front lines of all the stuff that's going on right now. And uh, definitely send her some love, man. She's an awesome person. And, and we owe her a lot, and a lot of people owe her a lot, and her profession and the people that are out there doing that. So thank you, Kitty. Get some sleep. I know you got a big night tonight at work. So uh, good luck. We wish we all wish you luck. Jay Numskull says he'll always laugh at a good deal tough joke. <laughs> good night, Kitty. Thanks for your work. Thank you guys for doing it. Thank you for saying that. Much love indeed, Kitty. Oh, flashback time. Whoa. We get this, a flashback of him pretty early. So if you notice, Cloud's eyes are unique. Um, there are th oh.
What the? Dude, are we really? S How? No way. It had to be a, a hallucination. Look at this place falling apart around us. But then. Oh, we're st are we still in the hallucination? I like how friendly this chat is. Hey, yeah, we all try to keep it chill here. Um, thank you, everyone. You're welcome, kitty. Get some rest, okay? And good luck tonight. Can we, uh... The hell? Can we move faster? I can't, I can't evade or roll towards him. Um, so there are three people with eyes that unique in this current timeline. Uh, well, I don't know if Zach is, is alive or not, but Zach had eyes like that. The gentleman who's walking away from us, Sephiroth, who I used to cosplay as back in 99 and 2000. Um, I have a Sephiroth jacket. It cost me like uh, $400 to get made and tailored um, to my size when I was like 18 years old. So I don't know if I can fit into it now. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, Sephiroth and Cloud. Cloud has those same eyes. You're not real. You're dead. I, am. Um, I killed you with my own... Oh, you need not remind me. It was the crowning moment of our time together. Hmm. But that was then, and this is now. I have a favor to ask. Our beloved planet is dying. Slowly. Silently. Painfully. Can you bear to see the planet suffer? Cloud. Hmm. Were the planet to die, so many things would be lost. Your hometown. Oh, so bright. The sound of her voice pleading for me to spare you. The Oof. shiver of her flesh yielding to cold steel. Dude killed our mom. Well, did he? That which binds us together would be no more, and I would be loath to live in such a world. Which is why I must ask you this one favor. Don't worry. It's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. You bastard! Yeah! Ooh. Ooh, that was cool. Very good. Hold on to that hatred. Wow, that was awesome. That's cool. I mean, yeah, they, of course they're going to add new stuff to this um, to help them tell their narrative in a new way, but that was freaking sweet. I'm a really big fan of, uh, I think on the 15-year anniversary of this uh, movie, or this game, on the 15-year anniversary, if I'm not mistaken, around that time was when it came out, they made a, um, a, a sequel but it was an, an animated movie. And it's so interesting to think about the road of that movie because it started off as like a 30 minute movie or 40 minute movie and they showed it at some film festivals, like animated film festivals, and it won all kind of awards. So then they were like, hey, let's, let's go add like some content to it, like 15 minutes of content to make it like an hour, a little over an hour long. And then they, and then so they added like the 15 minutes. They showed it around more. Then they sold the Blu-ray and DVD, and that was a big hit. Um, and then, and then they uh, made the the complete edition, which is like you know, like an hour and a half or something, two-hour movie. And it's uh, it's awesome. I mean, like the 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 life that this this franchise like Final Fantasy 7 they started making other games for it they did Dirge of Cerberus which was a game about Ash he's like a small character in this storyline 
and they made a, a whole game about him set after uh, Final Fantasy VII, or during it, I think, maybe, and after. Then they made Crisis Core, which is like a prequel. Um, and they, you know, that they've expanded the world of Final Fantasy VII so much. So now it's so much bigger than one game. So it's fun that they're remaking this one game. And I'm sure it's going to upset the continuity of those other things. But, uh, but hopefully it, it, you know, hopefully it doesn't too much. Uh, anyone know any good zombie shows other than Walking Dead and Z Nation? Someone mentioned one the other day. I can't remember. Um, I Zombie is a really good one. I love iZombie, but someone mentioned one the other day that was, maybe it wasn't zombies, it was about like brains being shut down, I can't remember what it, what it was, but nothing I know of, uh, I can recommend Castle Rock if that's up your alley, yeah, you're watching Castle Rock right now, that's the Stephen King show, I heard that's good. Yeah, Castle Rock is really good. That's what I hear. All right. Dang. Why couldn't we just jump over that? Oh, we weren't. We were on a different street. Loveless Street. Uh oh. I wonder if I go down that way, can I fight them? I'm supposed to stay away from them, I think, but I, I really just want to run down there and kick their asses. Just finished it. Uh, they're doing a misery theme one right now. Oh, that's right. That's what you're telling me. Whoa. What is that? It's funny that they would meet on Loveless Street. What the hell? Too weak to save anyone. Not even yourself. Yeah, I zombie's good. I like I zombie. Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Here, this is for you. Huh? A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know. For scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Think of it as a memento. Just my luck. Hmm. I heard that, you know. How much? Well, that depends on the customer. In your case... <laughs> it's on the house. Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to self. What? Help me! What is? Whoa! Whoa! You find out the season Bill Skarsgård's character thing? Oh, nice. On uh, Castle Rock. Are you looking for serious or lighthearted? Oh, you guys are talking about the, the shows. Okay, good. I was going to say, because that got a little serious and lighthearted at the same time. What's with the... What are those? Are you blind? You know, you're right. Wait! Nice meeting you. What are the... They're only after her? I don't remember that from the original. She sees ghosts? And now he sees them because they touched? Enough. That's 
Yeah, I'm gonna fight your face. Nope, you're not getting back up. Where'd the girl go? Come on, trash can, really? I love that they met on Loveless Street. She go. This uh, this street area is awesome. They did a great job. They, I mean, what this game took what like seven years to make or something like. <laughs> All clear, and then I went right up and stabbed him in the back. Sorry to run around and kill these dogs, but they are after me. Get sighted, and now you're dead. Shock troopers, you stole that from Star Wars. <laughs> I was gonna say I hear a helicopter, I didn't see it up there, but Yeah, I'm okay with running around the alleys. That's one of find all these collectibles. I like rummaging through stuff, man. You watched It, uh, it Chapter 2? I still never seen that. Uh, I held a grudge against my last roommate. Uh, we made plans to go see that for like two or three, like a couple months. Like, And I don't go to the movies that often. So uh, I was just like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm you know, waiting for you. So there was a night I had to where I could have gone to see it. But he couldn't have come, so I said, hey man, can you not make it? He's like, no, I can't. I said, all right, then I'll wait. Like, I'll wait for you. And he was like, oh, thanks, I appreciate it. So then, like, two nights later, you know, we were both home. I had a headache. So like, do you want to go see it? I was like, no, I, I have a headache, I'm sorry. I was like, can we go see it, like, in a night or two? And he's like, uh, sure. And then I fell asleep. I, like, took a nap that night. It was, like, 7 p.m., and I went and laid down. 
and then here, uh, he, he went and saw it with somebody else. Uh, and I was like, dude, what? Like, I held off waiting for you, and you couldn't do the same for me because I had a headache for one night. And he's like, I'll go see it again with you. I, he's like, I liked it. I want to go see it. And I'm like, that's it's not the principle of it, though. Like, and that's how I am. I, I'm I'm kind of an a-hole when it comes to principles. So if you uh, if you cross that line with me, it's I, I'll forgive you, but but also, but I don't forget. So I'm like I'm like all right. So then I just I told him because his favorite thing, my old roommate, was to go see movies, and uh, and I don't like going to the movies. So sometimes I would just because it's like ah, oh, you know, I know he likes it and and we're friends, but. Uh, after that, I never went to movies with him again. I think I think we saw maybe saw one movie after that, but but that's it. Um, so yeah, it's, what's up, Brick Blaze? How's it going? So yeah, kind of petty of me, but at the same time, I'm like that's how I am. If you uh, if, if we make a if we give our word that we'll do something together, and then now if if like a legit reason comes up, like hey, I'm sick, I can't do it, then then of course it's like that's fine. But then if you do it, <laughs> if you and, and I'm like, I, I don't know, I get, I get, I'm like, ah, no. I was like, that's it. That's your one strike. Nothing to it. Um, Brick Blaze, how are you, man? Welcome, welcome. How you been? How are you doing? Like, are you, are you staying safe right now? How's, and by the way, Brick Blaze, you are kind of incredible to me because, uh, I'll post a picture on Instagram and the second it's posted, it's like, Brick Blaze likes it. And I'm like, holy cow. Like, so I must have, like, we must be on Instagram at the same time a lot. Because uh, I'll, because uh, you'll catch, you'll catch my post, like, as soon as I post it. Um, which is awesome. Damn, should I have jumped on that train? Too busy wiping my face because it's so hot in here. I'm doing good. I'm safe and as can be. And uh, I'm essentially... I'm essential at work. Oh, okay, you're working. Gotcha. That's good. It's good to hear some people still are working. I know, like, Kitty, she's still working, but she's a nurse, so I know that's, like, it's tough. Like, it's super tough. But it's good to hear people who are, like, you know, hey, my my job is, you know, they're letting us work from home, or they're letting us, you know, uh, work at the office, but in a limited capacity. It's, like, that's, it's good to hear, because, like, me, I'm just, I don't know, I, I, I lose it when I don't have uh, work. Like, I like working. I'm ready, whatever. Let's do this. No way. I gotta get rid of the grenadiers. Man, those guys are tough, those freaking uh, shields. Um, yeah, be safe, everybody be safe. And as safe as you can be. That's, well, I mean, it's, it's all you can do, right? Wait, is that? Oh, I thought, I, I was like, oh, is there a secret thing back there? He's here. I am. I was gonna cast like a, a fire spell on him, but then I was like, oh, he, he just, I just dodged him. His back was wide open. The Boys, the end. Uh, uh, yeah, The Boys, that's a good show. You're done, guard dog. Good bad dog. Let's finish this. I saw someone complaining, they're like, oh, like when you Nothing when you play on easy mode in this game, it's just button mashing, not a lot of strategy. I am okay with that. 
I like strategy and stuff, but I'm okay with not having it sometimes. And after just going through Control, um, where that, that game didn't give you an option of like easy mode or hard mode or whatever, and you just had to, it forced you to get better, I'm totally happy playing a game like this. And then we also played Res Evil, uh, I platinum it, Res Evil 3, so we got like Inferno mode and all that stuff. And So it's like, good, I'm done playing hard modes for a while. I'm done playing normal modes for a while. I'm okay with easy mode. Dude, they should have just hit me. Why didn't they just run me over? Yeah, follows the people in the White House. Oh, you guys talk about TV shows still. All right, cool. Good, good, good. Make friends. That's what I want. Don't mind me. I'm just fighting troopers. Out of here, shield guy. All right, I'm coming. You guys wanted this, remember. Boom. The Huntsman. Good night. Damn. Yeah, he was a tough one. A lot of video in this. Like, that, there's a lot of video. I know that. What? Who's that guy? He knew us. That's awesome. That sword is so dope. Who's the who's the guy who knew us? He had like a a connection to us. Kiss Cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You What's the corporation that, statement they gave you, Brick Place? I work at GameStop. Oh! People still have to have their pop figures. <laughs> LOL. Uh, oh, that's right. GameStop. Um, yeah, I have some pops and rare ones that don't sell anymore. Um, wow, yeah, because there's so much. Like, I'm not going to, you know, I don't want to put you on the spot and or anything like that. Because um, I know that there's a lot going on with GameStop, drama wise, and not obeying, obeying the like city rules. Like, if a state says, like in California, for example, when I was leaving California, they said non essential businesses couldn't be open. But GameStop was like, screw that, we're staying open. Obviously, there's money involved. They, you know, they, they are on the ver there's that's a company that's been struggling for a while. So, I get wanting to stay open, but I, yeah, I saw that drama. So, I, I'm not here to ask you questions about that, but uh. I hope you're doing okay, though. I hope you're staying as safe as you can while at your job. Are they still letting customers in the store where you live, or are you guys just doing like pickup orders, like curbside pickup? Oh, people that are angry they can't come in the store. I mean, yeah. So is that what it is? Is it just like you allow people to like wait outside and you just come out and give them their item? Never a lot of Karens. <laughs> I, so I wouldn't have gotten that meme like a couple of days ago, but finally I, I I caught up on my on my my terms my uh, that that are going around the internet right now. And then the freight car too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe. Oh uh, wow! Stay strong against the Karens. <laughs> Mostly online order pickups. Gotcha. Okay, that's what I figured. Um, there's a couple of Venom things that are coming out that were GameStop releases that were originally listed to come out in February and then they got pushed back to March and now they're being pushed back to June and I'm just like, I don't need them that bad. Like, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I can wait. I can wait till they officially come out. Um,
God, that's insane. What do you want? Cell just called in sick. Just leave me alone, all right? Why don't you learn to take a hint, buddy? You're, uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station, um, all over Sector 8? Yeah, I've sta I, I put in one order for something online through Amazon the other day, and they were saying, like, hey, we, we you know, we're prime, prime shipping is no longer two days because obviously we want to make sure we get essential things out. And I guess for a while there, they were saying, hey, you can choose to have your stuff get shipped later. And we'll, you know, so we can get more essential things out, and then we'll get your item to you, like, by the end of the month. And um, I actually chose those options. I'm like, yeah, I'm not in a rush. Like, do your thing, man. Like, get masks or whatever you need to get out there. Um, but uh, but for me, like I was like, yeah, I can wait, I can wait. But now I'm like, well, I'm gonna cancel Amazon Prime then because if things, the whole point of getting it was like the free two day shipping, and now I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't need it anymore. Like I don't mind waiting for stuff. But I only put in one order, and it was for like a book. And that was it. I was just like, and I was like, I can wait on the book. I ship it like next month. I don't care. Uh, do you have any NECA figure seek? I used to back when they made Resident Evil figures. Um, I have a lot of NECA products now, like com NECA makes comic book boxes that have artwork on it, and there's a couple of other things that they make uh, that I have, but not figures. I don't think I have any NECA figures. But I like the company, they make some really great stuff. We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. <laughs> this scene is funny. <laughs> There's fighting words. It's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> Calm down, Barrett. You hear that suit? Shinra creep my ass. We're the good guys, damn it. It's not that black and white, you dude. Hear that suit? Shinra creep my ass. We're the good guys, damn it. Yeah, it's not like that, dude. Those people are just doing a job. They're trying to do their best. They don't know that they're ruining the world. Let's get this out of the way. You gotta have a conversation so about it, man. Not like kick everything. I had the giant Birkin monster figure from RE2 about 10 years ago. I'm not sure where it is, though, since the move. Yeah, that's a good figure. They made a lot of good... They made some cool Resident Evil stuff, the NECA... Figures. I had the uh, Toy Biz ones, the, the Palisades ones. I really like the Palisades ones. The NECA ones were cool. Um, this here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look. We're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history. All that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. I have almost all the Toy Biz ones, but the packages got ruined. What'd I tell you? I think all of mine are opened, the ones I had. I actually at one point had every Resident Evil figure, even the Japanese ones, they, for Resident Evil 3, because um, I remember I kept wanting Resident Evil 3 action figures from Toy Biz, because they did 1 and 2, but they lost the license or something, I can't remember. And there was a company in Japan that released Resident Evil 3 figures, but they weren't very posable. They were like little mini statues almost. They had very minor movability. Um, and you had to buy all of them and you could build like a giant nemesis like the final form of nemesis and you had to buy 10 figures and they had some figures in there that you know that uh, were never made by Toy Biz so they had like Rebecca Chambers um, and they had a couple other characters they had a new Chris Redfield 
And so I bought all of them. I was loving them. I was like, this is so, these are so great. And I was, it was one of the first things other than Gundams that I was importing from Japan uh, online. And it was one of the, some early purchases, like early 2000, 2001 era. Um, some of the first stuff I was buying online. And I would just take my work check and, and buy like two or because it was easier to buy like, to justify the shipping if you bought like three of them at that time because um, you would get like a better deal. So I would buy them at like three at a time so I got the whole set. And I remember, so I had all of those and then I had all the Palisades ones and then after my aneurysm rupture, I was hurting for money and I was looking for stuff to sell and so I sold that entire toy collection, including a lot of collectibles. Like I had the chainsaw remote control from, I had all the games. Um, I had um, multiple copies of a lot of the games. So luckily I was able to keep like some of my PlayStation 1 copies um, but my PS2 copies, my GameCube games, all the special editions, all that stuff I sold um, as one big collection. Some guy bought it all off me for like a thousand bucks. Um, so yeah, so it's funny when I when I think about stuff I collect and the toys and stuff, it's like a lot of that stuff helped me like in big ways. Bombs detonated one, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, right. <laughs> Luckily, nobody was hurt. But you saw there's people out in the streets that were like, you know, like, where am I gonna go? My, you know, like, my car is ruined or my my house got is on fire. And I don't know. Feels feels kind of self selfish of them celebrating that a little bit. You know where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She worry. I have an RE shirt with a picture of a shotgun that says uh, zombie repellent. Nice. That's a good one. I got a shotgun. Uh, Brick Blaze, that's cool. Yeah, it's a cool shirt. All right, so we'll try to get to Seventh Heaven, and then we'll um, we'll wrap up this episode. And you know how we do on here. I'll stop the stream, and then we'll uh, you know take like a couple minute break, and then I'll come right back. So just hang out in the chat. Give me about four or five minutes, and then hit refresh, and then we'll be back with another episode. Is the lifeblood of the planet? Now the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steel work. You're trying to tell me that's not progress? Whoa. What the? You okay, buddy? <laughs> Mako junkie, huh? Figures. What the hell are those? You again. What the hell are those, dude? It's funny because I know some people are gonna be like, oh, they made this game like environment friendly and blah 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 and stupid message in my video games <laughs> it's like well this is what the original one was Warning. gate broken fiends in area exercise caution. uh the original Sorry, game was about that it was about problem. you know had like a saving the planet type you don't want to mess with the monsters in here you belong now. is that patrick warburton it sounded like him eh? and just where do you think you're going <laughs> that's it. it does sound like him does not fit the character design his hearing his big voice through someone but yeah um, excuse i don't know why people um you know an hated on venom when it came out and probably still do prohibited. i mean Sorry, you know if you people don't like a warning? No, oh. sir. if people don't like it that's fine but it's uh yeah there was like you know people hated on it because it wasn't part of the mcu there was 
uh, people on it. There was people hating on it because they said that Venom can't be done without Spider-Man. And I mean, there were so many. Who cares? Who cares what was the reason? It didn't matter because the movie made almost a billion dollars anyway. So, so really, the fans got the last laugh because now we get a sequel, and now he's going to be mixed into the Spider-Man universe, which is what they wanted as well. <laughs> so, it's kind of like a. Uh, Hey, yeah, you guys could have been on board with us since the beginning, but now you're just you're just hanging on to our nuts as we drive away. Jeez, that guy wants to drink with Tifa. It's Tifa. Wow, she's so little. Um, sorry, I watched Advent Children recently, and she's like a. She's like 10 or something. I don't know how many years later it takes place, but she's she's a little bit older, so it's it's funny seeing the character um, at so little. I've got to go. Customers are calling. Hey, do your thing, Brick Blaze, and uh, good luck with everything. Uh, we appreciate you know you doing the best you can, man, and, and uh, you know good luck with the Karens. Good luck with those those types. Guy can change. Has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Uh, those reasons are dumb, but if they didn't like it because they didn't like it, the movie, and that's fine. Yeah, I mean, if, if people didn't like it afterwards, that's fine. But for the people who who crapped on it before it came out, it's kind of like, well... Brick plays. Have a good one. Stay safe. Exactly. Thank you, guys. Bitch, better have my money. Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Let that be a lesson to you. When you want to talk to a little kid, don't go give another professional killer eyes. Was I doing that? Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay. Sorry, I'm just shifting in my couch because uh sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. Because I don't want to leave like a how was it up like a, an ass imprint. It was chaotic. <laughs> Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it. Put me in danger? What are you talking about? Part of the job. I kicked Don't butt, dude. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to shit. Item shop, market. Look at this. This is so great. Not good at all. So, you make nice with everyone? Food trucks. Much as I could, all Food trailer trucks. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. Oh, no, I'm not. What are those demons? Like, why did we give up on looking for them? I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. We'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. to so, it wasn't that bad? It was. Oh, right. Dang, she's taking us to her hotel, huh? And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Would she do give us a room? Instead of uh don't have time for much else, what with seventh heaven and all. Instead of paying Not us? even time to decorate. Oh, that's her room. 
Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No, it's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. Who's in the other room? Huh. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it. There's one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? Doesn't kill, I baby. Do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. Right. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course. As long as you help, that is. Wait. Then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No. Two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, <laughs> that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best. I'll see you bright and early at the bar then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Alright. Bye, Tifa. <sighs> playing through this story, the original one, and then playing Crisis Core, Dirge of Cerberus. Not so much Dirge of Cerberus, because that's kind of like a side thing, but. Um, then watching Advent Children, especially the complete version, it's really neat. It's one of those things where I, I, I don't think sometimes, like, because I read comics so much, and I know co in comics not a lot of characters really are allowed to evolve. Like, a lot of characters seem to just get, you know, they start moving forward for a couple years, and then a new writer comes on, and they go back to square one. Peter Parker goes back to being a broke nerd. Um, you know, who's trying to do photographs for the Daily uh, Bugle, and you know, everybody just keeps getting reset. Um, so to see Advent Children and see like a progression of these characters, and see Cloud a few years from now, and talking to um, seeing Marlene grown up, um, seeing uh, or not grown up, but she's older with a da da Daxel, Dazel, I can't remember the kid's name. Uh, but there's another kid in, the, in Advent Children. Um, seeing Barrett a little bit more mature. Um, seeing the uh, the other Sephiroth clones. Like, it's just... It, it was so neat. And so, like, it's it's nice to go back and play this story again. Knowing where they're, they're going to end up. Because Advent Children is hey, so awesome. I love that movie so much. I must have seen it probably like 50 times now. Coming in. Um, Probably like 20 or so, 20, 25 versions of the first version of the movie, and then like another 20 to 25 times at least for the complete version. Oh. What the heck, dude? Whoa. What? Who is this? What are you doing to Marco? This is his apartment. He's got a few problems, but he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. He's Can a I ask you He's a soldier. Weird. 49. Yeah, he's a soldier. Ex-soldier. Maybe. Cloud does not have a tattoo number on him, and I think that ties into Zack, but I can't remember.
Whoa. Look at this map, dude. Holy crap, that's awesome looking. We'll go downstairs and check it out. Mark, are you in there? No, nothing, Cloud. Just gonna shake your head. Well, now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. <laughs> so, how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. It can be about anything, even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. <laughs> Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. Um, Just got a head start on you and then some. So the reason I brought up, like, it's nice to see where these characters go and then come back and play this is because of the relationship with Tifa and, and Cloud. Like, uh, they... I, I felt like it was very one-sided. Like, I felt like uh, Tifa has a thing for Cloud, but uh, he doesn't reciprocate it. Um, and then in this, I guess in this game, we'll see how the remake goes, but in the original game, kind of the same thing. Cloud kind of falls into love with somebody else. Um, and... Uh, and and almost like Gwen Stacy to Mary Jane, like Tifa is like Mary Jane, and and Aerith is like uh, Gwen, in many ways I guess. Um, and it's I don't know it's it's it it just didn't feel that like it, it didn't feel reciprocated the feelings, but in Advent Children it seems there's a more there's a more of an effort of Cloud trying. He's like you know I Tifa is someone who's special. Um, and, you know, I should embrace that more. Uh, or recognize that more, I guess. Sometimes guys, you know, and, or people in general, we're just, we're dumb when it comes to love and, uh, and feelings and, and we, uh, we screw up. Um, so it's good to see characters like grow you know it's like because you hope in your real life you would you would do the same thing all right a cat farm i guess is under here but we got that potion so Talking about my butt? You looking at my butt? Look at this place, man. This is amazing. Oh, it's you again. Whoa, look at these people selling weapons. Friends slain this month. Zero. Wow, that's... Wow, that's heartbreaking. That they would have to have a board. Wow. This place has a lot of, lot of spirit. Uh, look at that! Look at that! Wow! The haves and the have-nots, right? All the people with money living up in their cold, sterile world with their view. Everybody else down here, man, just trying to get by. Kid over there's playing hide and go seek in the trash. Holding position until nightfall. Cute kid. All right, let's uh, let's go to the bath. Let's go to the bath. Oh wait, what's up here? obtain three grenades. Man, I gotta start using those. I probably have a ton of grenades now. Ooh, here comes that breeze. <laughs> that short, brief breeze. 
vacant lot up ahead is overrun with wild beasts. Best steer clear unless you're looking for trouble. Even if you are, be careful. Oh, there's there's beasts out here? Where's that? I don't see any beasts. Bum, 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 bum. Well, it'll let me fight here, so things probably show up at some point. Alright. Look like a blood stain to you. <laughs> Whoa, what? Collecting music discs. You may hear music near shops and certain characters as you approach the source of music. Music icon will appear. The icon means that a music disc is available at a nearby vending machine. Hip-hop to Chocobo? Yeah, I can get behind that. Tell you, man, it's fire. <laughs> That's kind of cool. So we can go around and, what, pick up tracks uh, from the soundtrack, maybe? Danger. Falling debris. Keep out. Not going that way. Oh, wow. Falling debris. Oh, could you imagine if crap just fell out? You People litter all the time. Could you imagine some a-hole rich jerk up there just like they eat like a, you know, a sandwich or something and they just throw the wrapper down and you're just walking down the street and just like a wrapper with sauce or whatever just hits you? Nothing would make... I mean, you already feel low enough. You're literally ben, you know, beneath the, the people who live above you. And if something like that happens, I'd be like... I would just be every day. I'd walk with my middle finger up at them, <laughs> at them. Yes, enjoy yourselves. All right, seventh heaven. Thinking I might have dinner at seventh heaven tonight. It's funny how these people talk about this place and nobody's in here. Marlene's still asleep. I guess it's a bar, so maybe the only people come at night. But let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. Although the next batch probably could, if Jessie put her mind to it. Most every home in the area has one. Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? Uh, give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? Please... What's the next tattoo you want? Let's get this over with. People have been begging me to get a... Well, not begging me, but I guess uh, pushing me to get a Venom tattoo uh, at some point. Um, I'm surprised I don't have one, actually. So, I don't know. I mean, I would think about something along those lines. Maybe. Um, Go ahead and keep whatever I haven't really given a lot of thought to my uh, to tattoos. To buy, um... And don't worry, we'll pay you the difference after. Barrett's out making his rounds too. But there's so many. Like, I mean, I want to fill my arms up. I want to sleeve both my arms. Um, which, you know, with my body build, is, is would just look goofy, because I'd just be like a chubby dude with with uh, sleeved arms. But, I don't know. That's how I am. Hey that guy's playing music. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to... Wait, who is he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. <laughs> uh. Cloud! Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look. Um, let's see. My, sorry, my camera's in the way. <laughs> Oh, we can buy that track. Let's buy it. Okay. 
I just want one. Um, Phoenix down. I own four. I don't need any. I'm good there. Antidotes. We'll buy one just because. He has materia? Oh, what? All right, I'll buy that. Deadly dodge materia. Attack command will do airy damage immediately after dodging. Ooh. Um. Shots, 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 shots. Sorry. Uh, let's see if we can sell some stuff. An iron bangle? Nah, we might need that. Materia? Nah. Items? We got 40 potions. We got, wow, we got a lot of stuff. Let's see if we can make some of our money back. Yeah, I don't think we need... Uh, 13 grenades. Boom! Made a profit of 95 gil. Um Thanks. If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. I got, got a new song too. Oh we'll jeez. Okay? Keep it in your pants, Romeo. Um so yeah, tattoos. Yeah, I don't know. I I I've thought about a couple but I haven't really not too much though. So. Like I'm like, yeah, you venom one, but I haven't thought about what kind of venom one. I haven't really, you know, um, Final Fantasy 7, something to represent Final Fantasy would be cool. I got a Halo one, so I got that video game covered. I don't have a Resident Evil one, um, so I don't know if I would do something maybe Resident Evil related. Our next stop is Stargazer Heights, landlady's client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please... All right, uh, I'm going to stop the stream because we're at the two hour, seven minute marker and it's getting hot in here. So I'm going to need a couple minutes. I need to get a, some water, turn on the AC for a few minutes. So um, I'll be back on. Just give me about like maybe five or 10 minutes. I'll come back. Uh, if you can, you want to hang out in the chat, you can. Uh, I'll, I'll come in the chat and hit refresh, but I might need a full like 10 minutes here because I am, I am kind of burning up. So uh, I'll be back and I'll see you guys uh, very, very soon for... Um, We'll do, we'll probably play for another two hours and then that's all we're going to do today. So, uh, so yeah, we'll be back and we'll hit up two more hours of this. So see you soon.